Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. I would like to have a nice, calm conversation about that new law down in Florida. You know, the one everyone's talking about. The don't say gay law. The ones that a bunch of people seem to think are, is a perfectly okay law that, that has no problems to it at all. That this is exactly how we should do things. But what I want to do is have a conversation about what the bill is, the impacts it's going to have, and maybe some insight from myself. At the end of this, I hope you can, you'll can you leave some comments, some questions, and I hope to bring you a little bit of insight um, from my own perspective. So let's get started. The Don't Say Gay Law down in Florida. Well, like I said, many people don't think it's that big of a deal. They think, well, it's K through third grade. What's it matter? Now, when I first heard about the law, they never said anything about it being K through three. Um, when I first saw the law, and just recently as a few weeks ago, saw them discussing it on C-SPAN, they were talking K through 12. But apparently, in the final bill, when they after they stripped out the um, having to report teachers being forced to report gay students to their parents, once that was stripped out, apparently the high school connection wasn't there anymore. So what I'm being told is it covers K through three, third grade, and here's partially what can happen. A teacher, say that teacher is in a same-sex relationship. Say this teacher is a woman. And she's having a discussion with her R class about their favorite colors, parents' favorite colors, maybe their siblings' favorite colors. And she mentions something like, my wife's favorite color is yada yada. That teacher can then be fired if a student goes home and says to their parents, you know, Miss So-and-so said she has a wife. Insane conservative parent can then call the school, have the teacher immediately fired, and file a lawsuit against said teacher. That's, that's, that's something that could happen under this new law. The argument that some people seem to be making is that young kids, if they hear the word gay, will automatically become gay because they heard it. Or because a teacher said their spouse was the same sex. Or a teacher explains that there are family differences, that all families are different. Some have two mommies, some have two daddies, some have a mommy and a dad, right? That right there can get them fired and sued. People are trying to tell me that this is just a way to protect kids. Protect kids from what? You know, cis hetero norms are forced down kids' throats from the moment they come out of the womb. From the colors they put on their wall in the nursery. To the shows they watch as they become a little older. Every Disney movie seems to have some kind of love connection, right? And it's always cis-normative, always. And it's pushed that way. Books are mostly written for kids, pushing cis-heteronormative views. Yet kids still turn out gay. 
So clearly, having sexuality pushed at you is not changing people's minds on who they are. That's not how that works. You're either. You're, you're either LGBTQ or you're not. Right? Nothing is going to convince a straight person to be gay. And nothing is going to convince a gay person to be straight. These are facts. You, you can't change them. They are what they are. There is nothing wrong with being gay. There is nothing wrong with being straight. But don't tell me that this bill is designed to protect children. Because it's not. What you're doing by passing a law like this is saying that people in the LGBTQ community are all about, about sex and hurting children. And that's not true. As I saw mentioned in a video earlier today, people were talking about how it prevents pedophilia. Basically insinuating that gay people are inherently pedophiles or that that's part of the LGBTQ community. I can tell you that pedophilia is not accepted in the LGBTQ community. In fact, it's considered just as repulsive as it is in the heterosexual community. Unfortunately, people seem to think pedophilia is connected to being gay. But I'm here to tell you, pedophilia is not about a sexuality. It's not about sexuality. It's not a sexuality. It's about people with a screwed up mind that for some reason are hung up on younger people. And it's absolutely repulsive. That is a fact. I had another person try to tell me that, oh, well, it, it's only, you know, K through third grade, so no, and they don't know anything about gender identity or anything like that. They don't know anything about LGBTQ, anything at that age. That's simply a false statement. It's just not true. I can tell you right now, I was eight years old. I did not know why. I had no idea about that sex was even a thing. But I did know the boys and the girls that I thought were cute. I was a bit confused at eight years old, though. Because I'd watch TV and I see all these cartoons and everything. Boy and girl. Boy and girl. Boy and girl. I saw that over and over and over again. It made me feel like I had done something wrong. Why is it that I was finding both of them to be cute? You know. I didn't understand it, but it was what it was. It would have been helpful to have somebody explain to me what I was feeling. You know, I'm not crazy, but I knew what I liked. And believe it or not, that hasn't changed. It was very difficult going through junior high and high school after that, you know, especially when, you know, sex became a thing. 
when I found out what that was. I was very confused. But even though my father was gay, he was my adopted father, but still, I still didn't feel safe to say anything to anybody. I didn't feel like I could. Thinking about all the terrible things that people said about people that had the feelings that I, ha I have. And now they're, you know, they've been ever since then, you know, I've even heard it on the news since I was a kid that pedophilia and homosexuality are one and the same. They're not. So you're not trying to protect kids. That's a, that's just a, that's, that's just a dog whistle. Because you don't support it, because you don't support the fact that people are living their lives as their authentic selves, and that makes you angry. If this bill was aimed at protecting children from having things forced on them, there are a number of things that this bill would contain. It would say that straight teachers were not allowed to ever reference their straight partners as being married, or their wife, or their husband, or their spouse in any way. We would stop asking five-year-old girls or boys, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? We'd stop telling girls five or six years old, oh man, you're going to be a heartbreaker when you grow up. You're going to break all the boys' hearts. We would make that against the law, right? We would actually make sure that the law was equal, right? We would also put in the law that children aren't allowed to be taught about the Bible or at least certain books in the Bible for sure, right? Have you read the Bible? That is one of the most violent books and most sex-filled books I personally have ever read. Talks all about non-consensual sex, incest, murder. It's in there. It's in that lovely black book. Yet, that's not kept from kids. What they're trying to do is make it look to kids like they don't matter. If they're LGBTQ, they're looked at as lesser. That's what it's teaching them to think, that they are a lesser. Simply because of the feelings they have. I have not felt secure in myself since I was probably eight or nine years old. I have not been comfortable in my own skin. I spent until I was 41 years old. 41. Until I came to terms completely and opened up to at least some people. And the messed up stuff that it's done to my brain, the depression, anxiety, it's, it's interesting to me that my amount of anger, the seething feel that I always had up underneath the surface 
before I came out to my wife and my friends here in Oklahoma, and now discussing this with you, it hasn't been there. I'm not angry all the time. I'm finally in a place where I'm happy. And to think, these kids have a possibility to not have to go through that if it weren't for these states passing these archaic, backwards laws, attacking them, making them feel like they're lesser, making them feel like they don't have any hope. These laws just remind me of the things I went through just trying to keep myself hidden. Trying to keep myself, you know, the real me out of the way. For 41 years, I played a role. I played the role that society told me to play. I bought into that belief that if you're bi, for example, that you have to pick a side one or the other. And all that does is hurt your future relationships. Because you are who you are, right? Y you are attracted to both sexes, right? As a bisexual person. But buying into the narrative that you have to be one or the other. It doesn't work. Now, I believe when you get into a, a relationship, you should be committed to that relationship. I don't really, I'm not one that believes you should be out gallivanting around the countryside when you're married. But I don't think you have to make that choice. back to the bill. This bill will, unfortunately, it's going to lead to more suicides. You can sit there and tell me that I'm crazy. You can sit there and tell me that, no, you always say that. No, it's true. Because you're going to start teaching kids at a younger age that their, their feelings are invalid. That they are infallible. You're telling LGBTQ kids, whether they know it or not, you're teaching them that being gay is wrong. That being part of the LGBTQ community is wrong. That's what this bill is teaching them. They're going to internalize that. They're going to think about that. Right? And even if at K through third grade, maybe they don't know how who they are. Some people don't. A lot of people don't. But they're going to learn that lesson. They're going to keep being pounded in their head that they have to be straight or society won't accept it. And that's exactly what this bill aims to do. I don't care what the legislators say it'll do. I don't care what the other, you know, proponents of this bill, now law, say. I don't care. Because in the end, it's still going to have that, that effect. You're going to try, you're trying to convince kids that cis heteronormative ideas are the only way to go. And that if they don't ascribe to that, that they are lesser than, that they are somehow dirty. This is not how it is. It's not one. These things aren't being taught in school anyway. Kids are not being taught about graphic homosexual sex 
in their in their classes. It's just not happening. It's a solution looking for a problem that doesn't exist. There are already laws on the books about graphic depictions of sex when discussing things with minors. You know, lewdness and things like that. Almost every state has lewdness laws. So it's not like these laws aren't already on the books that says if you're doing things that, are, that aren't age appropriate with kids, then you will be punished. But see, they want to continually connect LGBTQ people in the community with things like pedophilia. They want to constantly, that's how, that's how they try to bring it down, right? But at the end of the day, they are trying to hurt children here. At the end of the day, I know they're lying. You know they're lying. The whole goal here is just going to hurt children. That's their whole goal. The day before. Their governor in Florida banned books. I thought only Nazis banned books. A lot of these books involved discussions of gender identity. You know, that kids could check out in the library and learn about. Or teachers could discuss, maybe. But is it really that age inappropriate? If a third grader, second or third grader goes, why does Billy have two mommies? Is it really, is it really going to hurt the children to know that it's because they love each other? Is that really a problem? No, because that's literally all you have to say. And a kid, mostly, most kids are going to go, oh. They're going to go about their business. And if it goes past that, that's when you tell the kid, talk to your parents. Right? That would be the easiest way to go about it, right? None of this, you know, trying to criminalize mentioning the word gay. The fact is, words aren't going to make anybody change who they are. I want everyone to know whether you're gay, straight, you know, transgender, whatever. Be happy in who, in who you are. Right? There's nothing wrong with being who you are. If you are not hurting anyone else, you know, if you're not forcing anything on anybody else, you're not being violent, you're not being disgusting, you know, and you're not affecting anyone else, then being you is perfectly fine. Now, on the other hand, if you are harming per people, you know, say you are a pedophile, then, yeah, that's a problem. But just mentioning the word gay or that somebody has a, that a, that a female teacher has a wife or that a male teacher has a husband, just mentioning that isn't going to hurt a child. It isn't going to make them gay or, or whatever. Because as I read the other day, gay students read thousands of books, so, you know, amongst them. Most of them, if not all of them, are cis hetero, you know, stories. They learn about straight couples all the time. 
and they're still gay. You don't have to worry about somebody saying they're gay and your kid deciding they're gay. Okay? Because you don't decide you're gay. You either are or you aren't. There, there's no two sides to that. You're either part of the LGBTQ plus community or you're not. If you're straight, you're straight. That's great. If you're gay, you're gay. That's great. If you're bi, that's great. If you're a lesbian, that's great. Being you is not a problem. Being you should not lead to laws like this. Quit trying to hold down a minority of people. Just because you don't have your religious views say people can't be gay doesn't mean they don't exist. Trust me, we're out here. We exist. We're not going anywhere. I don't understand why the LGBTQ community has to keep asking for civil rights, asking for equal rights. I don't understand. And I'm going to tell you, at some point, we're going to get tired of asking. So, there's only so many times you can beat people back down before you're going to create a violent response. And that's not something I want to see. I hate violence. I think violence is absolutely stupid. But the thing is, you're going to get you're going to get people to a point they feel they have no hope. And now in Florida, you're going to be starting kids with no hope even sooner by making them feel like they don't matter. I know I've been rambling for a minute here, but thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts, please leave your comments down below. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you down the road. This has been Julie with The Big Ranch Show.